Man, I get it right. My head match in my bed. You know I'm popping tight. Cause man, I got it right. Man, I got it right. Hey, Owls. I'm Rudy. And I'm Caitlin. Welcome back to Odom TV. There's a lot happening in that, so we have a packed episode for you guys. I'm sorry, Rudy. I would love to continue the show, but I'm so tired. I have a solution for your problem. Thank you, Rudy. Hold on. This is mine. Let's go visit Ashlyn in the Alespresso Cafe for yours. Hey guys, I'm Ashlyn and welcome to the OW Coffee Shop Alespresso and today I'm going to make a Snickers latte with you. <laughs> And that's how you make a Snickers latte. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure to come by every morning from 7 to 7.30. <laughs> wow, this is so good. I'll start visiting Al Espresso from now on. They're open from 7 to 7.30 on most days. Great. Hey, Caitlin, did you hear what Jamie said earlier? Um, who's Jamie? Oh, it's Miss Hodge. Ella, Lily, Tegan, and Haley want to go get teachers' reactions by calling them by their first names. What's up guys, I'm Tegan. And I'm Ella, and today we're going to be calling teachers by their first names. Let's go. Megan, Anna Lynn, Jay, how are you guys doing today? You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Hey, what's up Jeff? How are you doing today? Not very happy right now. <laughs> hey, what up Trent? How's it going? What you doing? I have been terribly disrespected by someone calling me by my first name. Get out! Hey, Janelle. Hey. I just wanted to give you a hug because I missed you so much. Oh, I miss you too. My bestie, Janelle. I know. Miss you too. Bye, Bye Janelle. What's up, James? What's happening in your class? <laughs> What's going on today? Craig, my guy, how are you? First name basis. I was like, well, bestie Craig did it last year, so Listen, we could do it this easy year. Easy with the first name and the bestie, all right? All right, Craig's Craig's in for another Hot Ones episode. Everyone, Aaron, hey, um, I missed uh, class yesterday, and I was wondering what I had missed. Um, just calling teachers by their first names, making them feel uncomfortable and everything. Oh, that worked. Hey, what's up, Pat? How's it going? Hey, buddy. Only my neighbor can call me that. Okay, no one else okay I'm glad. But you only get to call me Pat once. Now now we go okay, back to okay. AD Butler, yeah. Okay. Yo, what up, Derek? What's going on? What are you guys working on in here? Classification of matter. What class is this? Chemistry. Well, I see you later, Derek? Yes. Okay. Talk to you later, Derek. Wow, we have some pretty great staff members. Yeah, like Miss Ruport. Oh, speaking of Miss Ruport, did you hear about her feminist leadership club? Yeah, I just got a groovy message from Nora and Alex. Oh, let's go check it out. My name is Emma Pagoric. I'm a junior and I am the president of the Miss Leaders Club. Um, my name is Jenna Campbell. I'm a junior and I am vice president of the Miss Leaders Club. Um, my name is Chloe, I'm a senior, and I am the Community Service Chair for the Feminist Leaders Club. Feminist Leaders Club is a community service-based club, and we do a lot of stuff around the community, not just at West, but also within the local community in Olathe. Feminist Leadership Club is just like women supporting other women and doing a bunch of outreach events to, uh, yeah, just support those women. Um, being a feminist means creating a community and like a world even that strives for equal opportunity for everyone. Like it doesn't matter like what race you are, what gender you are, what class, anything like that. You all deserve equal rights and respect. We strive for equality, not superiority. Being a feminist means just pretty much what the club is, like supporting fellow women and helping the anyone that I can. Oh, my goals for the club this year is to, is to become more involved um, within like West itself. We do a pretty good job of being um, involved within the Olympic community, but being more involved 
in West. Obviously, we want to grow our club. We want as many people to join as we possibly can get. Um, follow us on Instagram at ohs.femclub and follow us on X at ohs underscore femclub. Join Feminist Leaders Club. It's so much fun. We have a lot of fun. We do bake sales. We do community service. It's a great look on your college application and a great way to get your community service hours in. Can't wait to see them at their next meeting. Hey, Caitlin, are you going to the game tonight? I want to. Is it a home game? Yes, it's at 7 p.m. at Seabeck against Olathe East. I'll be there. Let's hear from Millie and Harley about what sports are going on next week. Up TV welcomes you to our L Athletics Weekly Updates. We're your hosts, Harley Todd and Millie Jensen. Kicking us off, Monday, September 23rd, Girls Varsity Golf competes at Lawrence Country Club and Lady Sykes at 1 o'clock. Also at 1 o'clock, Girls Tennis has round robin matches at Seaback Tennis Courts. The following day, September 24th at 6, we will celebrate the seniors at their gymnastics meet at Mill Creek Campus. Volleyball plays home at 6.30 p.m. against the Firebirds, and at 7 o'clock, boys soccer plays the Shawnee Mission West Vikings at the Shawnee Mission Complex. On Wednesday at 3.30, girls golf will play at Sunflower Hills, and at 4.30, cross country runs at Blue Valley Southwest. Thursday, volleyball plays here at 6.30 versus the Vikings, and at 7 o'clock, soccer plays home at CVAC versus Olathe North, and football plays at ODAC versus Olathe South. R.I.P. Mr. Miller. On Saturday, we wish our cross-country teams good luck as they run in the Oklahoma State University Jamboree. Gymnastics also has a meet at 10.30 a.m. at Lawrence High versus Lawrence Free State. Later that night, volleyball plays away against Olathe South at 5.30 p.m. Good luck to all the sports competing next week. Bring home some Al wins. Be there, dress out, and support our Al Athletics. Bye, Owls! Thanks, Harley and Millie. Everyone make sure to go to tonight's game. The theme is USA. Plus, you really don't want to miss the sideline action. You're not kidding. Kellen, Aaron, and Ashlyn mic'd up Kemper last week. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Let's go watch it. Let's go. 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 Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Blow some stuff up tonight. Let's blow some stuff up tonight. Let's go, Tab. Let's go, Tab. Hey, let's be loud tonight. Be loud tonight. Chase, light it up tonight, baby. Light it up tonight. Let's go. Move in, Chains. Hey, where'd it go, Cade? Let's go. So we know what, four touchdowns we need? We, we, we bang in South. First down! That's too tall, Tav! That's too tall, Tav! That's too tall, Tav! Let's go! Down! Just down! Wow! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Put out the flame! Put out the flame! Let's go! Whoa, 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 whoa. There's an NFL game on tonight? Yeah. Bill's golf. I just got a Chipotle. I have cash. There you go, Dylan. Kellen, what's the move? McDonald's? Oh, I get my stuff in bounce. Okay. I'm not gonna sit in there and listen to them yell at me. That's some big back activity, bro. Touch it. You won't. You won't. Go, dub, go. Go, dub, go, dub, go. This is keeping up with Kemp. Stay tuned for more. Camper is sure hyped for our football games. I don't know what we'd do without Kemper. So much you would take him w with you on a deserted island? I could be more practical. Let's take it to Justice and Channing as they find out what others would take to a deserted island. I would bring a sheep, a spork, and a Barbie Lego set. I mean, give me something to do. Sheep will keep me warm, and a spork, you can do anything with it. I would bring Snoop Dogg. He's very cool, calm, collected, very demure. That's all I need to make me happy. I would bring a hammock so I could like be comfy whenever I'm out there, an uh, umbrella so I would be out of the sun, and then I'd probably bring a couple of pillows for that hammock also. And for the celebrity, I would bring Steve Irwin because he would be nice to chill with and he would also help me survive. I would bring sunglasses so I can see an American flag because patriotism. I would bring dumbbells so I could work out. Uh, I would bring Spotify 
because I like music. I probably bring some shoes so my feet don't hurt. I'll bring some socks to go with my shoes. <laughs> For my celebrity of choice, I would bring P. Diddy. I would bring Buttermilk Ranch, Necessity. Gotta bring some floaties. And then I gotta bring my dog. Gotta bring my dog because I love him. Some floaties. I can't swim. And some Buttermilk Ranch. I think it's gas. So, you know, you can't miss out. I would take my baby blanket because I can't sleep without it. My dog because he's my best friend. And my phone because I can't live without that either. Ryan Reynolds because I gotta have some entertainment. Glenn Powell because he's hot. I think I would take a Barbie Dream House too. I would probably take a basketball with me. <laughs> yeah, right? Seriously though, speaking of basketball, Luis and Jameson hit the court in our next Al Olympic showdown. Let's hand it over to them. Hey Owls, welcome to the second round of Al Olympics. Basketball. And track. First up's basketball, first team to three wins. some great athletes at West. You know who's really athletic? Our public safety students. Oh yeah, I saw them last week honoring 9-11 by climbing the main stairs. Let's go to Hayden to find out more about this. Um, I really wanted to do something that would allow us to recognize law enforcement specifically that died when the towers came down. So I developed an obstacle kind of challenge course for everybody. Um, and the idea is that we, we come out here to the track and we do an 800 meter run, which is, is two laps. Um, and that's just kind of get the blood flowing a little bit and get everyone warmed up. And we come up here and they hit uh, three stations versus 72 push-ups, uh, 72 air squats, and then a 300 second plank. And obviously those are broken into like bite-sized chunks. Like, you know, you don't have to do all the way through. But those are uh, very specific numbers. Uh, we do those for uh, 72 law enforcement uh, that died when the towers came down. And then the 300 is for the 300 plus uh, that have died since then from 9-11 related illnesses and injuries. Uh, so once they finish that, uh, they go to either bleachers or today we're doing the stairs. Uh, that's uh, uh, two up and downs. Uh, and then when they come over here, that's a 165 pound dummy. Uh, and that is a dummy drag 50 yards. Dragging it in crafts is no joke. That's a, that's a, a really hard ask. And then 50 yard sprints just to finish strong. What a way to honor our fallen victims from 9-11. What in the world are you doing? Well, you did say tonight is USA theme for the football game, so I'm just trying to get ready. Let's see how many students actually know the Star Spangled Banner as we hand it over to Nora, Sophie, and Kenna. What's up, Owl Nation? Today is USA out at home versus Olathe East. And today we're going to be testing your patriotism. Let's see how well Olathe West knows the Star Spangled Banner. Let's, Let's soar. soar! Okay, who are we here with? Jackie, Jameson, Abby, finish this lyric. Oh, say can you see the dawn's early light? Woohoo! That Perfect. was correct. Who are we here with? Uh, Daniel. All right, finish this lyric of the national anthem. What so proudly we? Is it A, failed, B, sailed, or C, hailed? Uh, see, hail. Who are we here with? 
Graham stuck. All right, finish this lyric of the national anthem. At, At the, the twilight's twilight last. Gleaming. Yeah. Who are we here with? Miss Loman. Finish this lyric. Whose bus drives and bright stars through the perilous fight. Who are we here with? Colton. Finish this lyric. And the rocket's red. <laughs> red Blair? Wrong! It's Red Glare! Who are we here with? Mr. Jones. Finish this lyric. Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Woo! <laughs> Who are we here with? Noah Zimmerman. All right, finish this lyric of the national anthem. Oh, oh say does that star Spangled banner, yeah, wait. Let's make our founding fathers proud tonight, Owls. And make sure to wear your red, white, and blue tonight at CBAC. They actually did a lot better than I thought. I agree. Well, that's all we have for you guys this week. See you next time. See, See you, you later, later Owls. Owls.